my next guest today, is the world's most famous drummer. He was a Beatle for eight years. He's been an ex-Beatle with a highly successful solo career for five times that length. <laughs> it doesn't seem that, not to an old geezer like me. He needs no further introduction. His latest album, Why Not, has recently been released. Ringo Starr. Start criticizing the minute you come in, for goodness sake. It's those a big are budget, Terry. Those are buns of it's mass. A big budget, Terry. <laughs> I've had worse things said to me. Ah. You're, look, you're looking a picture of health and fitness. Well, you are. I mean, fit. you're looking fitter than you used to. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you? I can't say the same about you. No, that's true. <laughs> But I still, I still have the old racing snake figure, yeah, I know. A, a bit like yourself. You do those 20 miles every morning. I try. I try. Do, uh, what do you do? do you, I do work you... out, I watch what I eat, uh, you know, I generally look after myself. Has your life, your life gone through all sorts of changes? Many changes. Yeah. What about now? Now it's great. <laughs> no, it looks good. No, it's great. My life is just great. Oh, so what has changed? Why not? It, what has changed it for you? I don't know. I think you get more relaxed. Uh, you know, you just grow up a bit. That's what you do. Yeah. You know, it's not all so hectic anymore. It's not all you've got to do it. I've got to do it now. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but you've you're here obviously to promote your uh, your album. CD. CD. <laughs> <laughs> so of course there's no more albums, are there? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm Actually, sorry. this is out on vinyl as well. Oh, well, that, and so it should I, be. So it should be, because I love to hold a piece of iron. Yes, 33 yeah, and a third. You can really see the artwork. 33 and a third. As a boy disc jockey, I used to play the 33 and a thirds at 45 with extraordinary regularity. Yeah. And some of them sounded the better for it. But they did. Well, you know, it took me a while to actually be able to listen to CDs, because they were too clean. Yeah. So I really had to listen and listen, because I was so used to the vinyl and the hissing and... You know, the jumping of the needle. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had to learn how to listen. So tell us about yourself and what you've been doing for the last... Since last, the, what, 100 years? Yeah, since the, <laughs> since, the Beatles, <laughs> since the Beatles closed. Well, I went to sleep and I woke up last night and I'm here. <laughs> well, I'm only glad you, <laughs> you woke up. Somebody That's kissed me, probably <laughs> Barbara, and there I am. Yeah, so Barbara's with you? Oh, yeah. yeah. You go everywhere We're married now. Thank It'll be goodness. 30 years any minute now. Yeah. So let me take you back. Uh, yeah. I'm sure people have, people have heard all this before. I'm not going to ask you all the old Beatle questions because everybody knows that you are part of that and you still, you're, you're still part of it, aren't you? Yeah. It's still there for the everybody. The Beatles go on and on. And what is great about the Beatles is that the music is still relevant and is still out there. You know what I mean? It's just incredible. I mean, if we've, we've left the music, I mean, we've, Paul and I have changed a little, but... Uh, Hardly noticeable. <laughs> He's changed more than me, I think. Okay. <laughs> Some people change for the better, in your yeah, case. So, you know, then you get your own life. I, you know, I make records, I'm a musician. But there you were at 13, and you wanted to be a drummer. In, yeah. In Dingle in Liverpool. I was, yeah. Well, I was actually 13 in, uh, in hospital when I wanted to be a drummer. And uh, I was in hospital for a year, but every so often this woman would come around with tambourine, maracas, you know, percussive instruments and little drums. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she'd point to the yellow dot and we'd <laughs> hit the drum and the green dot and we'd shake the maraca. And that was it? No, it wasn't it because... She gave me a drum, and I loved it. So when she came all the times later, I wouldn't be in the band unless she gave me a drum. <laughs> and that's where it started. I just fell in love with drums. Yeah. Your son, of course, is a distinguished drummer. My son is a distinguished drummer, yes. And he plays with you in the band? No, he's been in the, the All-Stars I put yeah. together every other year, but he's been with The Who for... 14 years or maybe 20 and he, then he did 180 gigs with Oasis um, and he's a well respected drummer and so he should be. So you being his father didn't put him off then? 
No, but it was difficult when he was a teenager. Yeah? Well, yeah, because we're both in the same game. So we had a few rows over that. But we're friends now. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. It's all ended well. And last year, I think, you probably... Maybe you don't want to talk about it, but you said uh, on, on television or on the internet or somewhere, you said, look, I don't, I don't want any more autographs and I don't want to, you know... I don't want any more and I don't want to give any more. Uh, yeah, I stopped giving autographs. I've done millions. And I, it was getting bad, really, because you were signing and then they were on eBay the next day. So people were making money off ah. me. And so... Anyway, I just decided, you know, I think I've done my share, that uh, that's it. But you didn't think that that would have a bad effect on your image? A kindly Ringo Starr. Why? 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 Why not? <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all day. We could. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was a brave thing to do. Yeah. Brave I thing. just thought it's time. You know, I didn't, I honestly didn't think it was going to be world news. <laughs> BBC, uh, yeah. oh. CNN, <laughs> you know what I mean? You just think, well, OK, maybe. that's enough of that. Have you forgotten how famous you are? Because Most days. It's a hard thing to get away from. Well, it is a hard thing to get away from, but, you know, as the days go on, you get away with it more. There's, uh, you know, it's just how it is. You know, people uh, for the last 20 years just, you know, we were still this jumble, the Beatles, where they, there's one of them. You know, they didn't know, and like 10 years after John had died, some guy in the street said, hey, John! <laughs> you know, yeah. so. Yeah, they're still there, I suppose. And you and, and Paul are the, the last remaining pair. We are, and he's on the record. You know, we're still friends. I've been on a couple of his records. He's on my record. It's, it's what we do. Now, tell me about this um, particular song, Walk With You. You're telling me while, while it was playing, it, uh, it was recorded in a, a bathroom. Not a bathroom, but close, a bedroom. Uh, yeah, I started in L.A. I was, thought I'll make a record. And, uh, you know, with Pro Tools now and, you know, all that, uh, I just started doing stuff, you know, just putting stuff down. And then in L.A., it's great because if you're past our house, you're on the record. And so, you know, <laughs> I got a lot of good players. I got Joe Walsh on there because he actually married uh, Barbara's sister. So he, they were living in our guest house, so he couldn't get away. <laughs> and, uh, and Paul came across? Well, Paul was coming to do the Grammys. And then, uh, so I said, oh, you're coming to do the Grammys. I've got this track. It's another track on the CD called Peace Dream. I, you know, I'd like you to play bass on it. So he said, yeah, sure. So he came over. I played him the track I wanted him to play bass on. And then I was just playing him a couple more of the tracks, which this was one of them. And he said, oh, I've got something for that. And so when it says, when I walk with you, he sings. So I go, when I walk with you, when he comes in right after. And that was his invention. And that's why he's a genius, I like to say. <laughs> so and I've got to say that, otherwise he won't play with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? It's the first you've actually produced yourself. First time, yeah. First album. First CD I've ever yeah, produced, produce. <laughs> which is also an album. Uh, was I, yeah, I just started it, and you know, it was. I won't go into big studios anymore. I can't stand that glass, you know, separating the musicians. And I uh, started with an engineer putting stuff down on a uh, synthesizer. Then I play drums to it, and we'd have odd guitarists come in and play. And then I actually invited a guy to come and help me produce it in America, and. Uh, who was another bass player. And uh, so he said, well, sure. So I said, I'll give you a call. And then I gave him a call and said, look, I'm having so much fun. I don't want you to help me. And uh, <laughs> which he was fine about. But uh, yeah. yeah, I really had a lot of fun. And it was really easy at home. You know it, what I mean? You can just hang out. You can play. Is that, is that where you're going? Is that the future? Yeah. I don't know uh, about anyone else, but I love it. I mean, the kids have been doing, you know, it's the so-called garage music and they're doing it in the bedroom they're doing it anywhere they can now because you can and uh <laughs> i just realized what i said <laughs> no, never mind this sorry crowd... terry <laughs> no, no, no. this crowd are purer, anyway, purer than the, the driven snow with the you know what we have now the technology we can do it anywhere yeah 
Good. Well, I hope that you will do it all over the place. I'm going to do it all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good to see you. And yeah, Terry. Thank you for the pleasure. You know, pleasure. Terry, I left in early January. And, like, December, Terry's leaving. He's going on holiday. He's had enough. I got in last week. Terry's back. <laughs> I mean, what is it? It's been a bit of a disappointment to everyone. You couldn't stay everybody. away, could you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I'm glad that you're still with us, and yeah, I hope you I'm will glad be. You're, still with you're us looking too, good. So. Keep singing for us. And, uh, and you're playing Little Richard. Where else am I going to hear that? <laughs> and as I say, I got a lovely letter saying, uh, "Welcome Richie back." Ah. Who called you Richie? Only the wife. <laughs> and the kids call me Dad. They don't call me Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad that you joined us. Thank you.